This city was a very different place. Folks were kind to each other. Children played in the streets and parks unsupervised. Love abounded, and we always knew that he had our back. Before, when evil reared its ugly head, Agape was there. When an elderly lady needed help across the street, Agape was there. You couldn't go to the bathroom without washing your hands, or Agape would be there with hand sanitizer and a stern look. He was everywhere, and we were safe. Then Vile came. The villains intent on leveling Ecclesiopolis terrorized the city, and Agape, nobody quite knows what happened to him. Are you all right, ma'am? That was a close call. Vile had tricked Agape. They shot him full of a toxin, and he couldn't help us as our city burned. Ah, you're awake. This should be rather interesting, Captain Agape. You see, we've just injected you with 347 cc's of self-toxin. That's synthesized ego in liquid form. You will be unable to think about anything but yourself for quite some time. That should put a damper on your abilities. Think that's diabolical? That's only a card trick. If you look over here, I'll show you the main event. We've extracted more than a little of your essence and subjected it to intense Sark's radiation therapy. I'd like to introduce you to the new and improved Captain Agape. We call him the Splitter. I'm afraid this little game you've been playing with your adorable quest for truth, love and justice had to come to an end eventually. It's time for the Age of the Splitter. Excellent, he's ready. Would you like to meet the hero who will lead Ecclesiopolis into a new age of power and glory? Hello, Captain. I suppose I should thank you, but I won't pretend you're anything other than a gallivanting knuckle-dragger in overly tight pajamas. You aren't worth the ten seconds it would take to end your miserable existence. Besides, I have something special planned. But for now, you should rest. But when things couldn't get any worse, our hero came back. Self-toxin can be neutralized by turning your attention to others, and Agape is not self-serving. Where is Splitter going? You'll never catch him! Tell me where he is! He's got a surprise for your daughter! Thought it might be fun to pretend to be daddy! Have you seen Rachel? But dearie, didn't you take her hiking about an hour ago? And where is your mustache? Lovely day for a hike. It certainly is. So, what's with the mustache? I felt like I needed to make a change. And the voice? I'm a bit parched. Do you happen to have a lozenge? No, I'm sorry. Bummer. Rachel! Rachel! Look over there. It's a good view. Goodbye.
Hi, Rachel. Agape took it hard. Love and sorrow go hand in hand, and the greater the love, the greater the sorrow. But Agape endures all things, and the captain wasn't ready to throw in the towel. You know I wouldn't ask if the world didn't depend on it. Splitter has incited an all-out rebellion, and we must stop him. Who do you have for me? These are the dossiers of the people we were able to find. There's some real potential here. Let's get to work. There was an evil out there that needed to be put down. Agape set about assembling the best of the best to battle the Splitter. His team was the most formidable ever seen. Evil shuddered, but Splitter was no ordinary evil. Agape knew that they were no match for the Splitter. He had to face the evil himself lest his friends perish in the battle. So nice of you to come, Agape. I've got such grand plans for this city once you're out of the way. You deceived my child, Splitter. You killed her. She died doubting my love. I take no perverse pleasure in fighting you, Splitter. This is not petty payback. I have come for the sake of justice. I have come for the sake of wrath. I have come because evil demands judgment. you can do? There will be judgment, all right. You are judged weak, and I have no time for the weak. <sighs> You've already lost, Splitter. There is no love without sacrifice. <sighs> Fool! Shield is the source of all the power I need to rule this world. It's mine. I want it fair and square. That's just not cool. It was here just a second ago. I saw it. Where did it go? Mm, I need that shield. Alas, that shield is the only thing that can stop my evil plan. Although few would have the power to wield it against me. Never mind, I will find it, and Ecclesiopolis will bow before me! We've got to get to the shield before the splitter does. And then we'll use it to stop the splitter. He's had this thing coming for a long time. No! You heard Agape, we can't control its power. We need to find it and keep it safe from the splitter. But we must never try to use it. We need to use it to stop the splitter. You saw what he did to Agape, even without the shield. If we don't use it, we won't have a snowball's chance. But we need to trust Agape. We need to use it to stop the guy who killed Agape. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to get there first. <laughs> I'd like to see you try from way down there. Well, at least I don't have ridiculously large biceps and tiny forearms. The spectacular spirit that's gonna get there first. Not if the Fantastic Faithful beats you there! <laughs> now we wait.